So the other day I live streamed on our Arcane Arcade Twitch channel to find out if Twitch chat could make a dungeon. Turns out they can. It's got everything from weird shaped rooms to a lot of hallways to a lot of doors. So this video is a compiled version of that Twitch stream. I picked all of the moments out and kind of the bits where we made the dungeon and put it into this video. But if you want to watch the whole VOD, it's up on Arcane Arcade right now. So you can go check that out. Also, if you actually want the dungeon, including the notes and the map, there's a link in the description for that. And also in the description is a link to The Seeker's Guide to Twisted Taverns by Eldermancy. I'm sure you heard of The Seeker's Guide to Twisted Taverns already. Twisted Taverns is a 5e book that you can get right now. It's filled with taverns and inns, all with different styles and themes, all of which is written by Logan, aka the Runesmith, and the people who made Grim Hollow. It's also got a lot of really cool art. There's a link in the description, so go check it out. And uh, huh, oh yeah. I guess there is another link in the description down there for another project. You can check it out if you want. All right, let's watch Twitch build a dungeon. <laughs> the goal today is to make a whole dungeon with just chat, <laughs> with chat polls. This will be the greatest dungeon I've ever made, um, to be honest. I've used this system before. It's in the DMs guide and you've got like all these tables. And so you get like chambers and doors and uh, exits and exit locations and stairs. We'll be doing that. We'll, we'll be doing that in uh, over here. We'll be doing that in Photoshop. So we'll have a map. I don't know if we should name the dungeon now or after we complete it. After, after. Okay, we'll do it after. We'll do it after. Okay, so uh, our first role here is a starting area. It's a D10. Okay, so uh, for these ones, we've got a circle. Don't, don't make me do a circle, guys, please. <laughs> I hate making circles. They're so annoying. Cast your votes. Not the circle, guys! No! Stop! <laughs> the circle's the worst way to start a dungeon. It's so confusing. Already beat it. Didn't take you very long. God. We got 29 votes for a stupid circle. Okay, the well's kind of cool. I, I don't really want it to lead down to a lower level purely because I don't want to get levels. Okay. And then we have a well, right? So we have a well right in the middle of the room. What's in the well? We don't know, but there's going to be something. This is this is what we're going to be creating now. It's one, two, three, and four. So we're going to do one first. We're going to make the, the number one chamber. We could end at a door. We could just continue along with no doors, but I think the winner here is clear. 20 votes, one by one point. Continue straight 20 feet, comes to a dead end. 10% chance of a secret door. Um, A roll to determine its width. Roll a d12 in the passage width table. There's a passage width to, oh my lord. Okay, we've got five feet, 10 feet, 20 feet. If it's like more than that, it's like the whole room. 30 feet. I'm not gonna do all those super epic ones. Well, if it wins, I will. Uh, 40 feet, 10 feet, 10 feet's good. 10 feet's correct. All right, a lot of votes for 40 feet. 40 feet's gonna, it's gonna turn this circle room into a lobby and it's just gonna, <laughs> There's gonna, if you pick that for every room, there's gonna be no starting area left. It's just gonna be four enormous hallways that start the dungeon, which I guess is pretty cool. This would be a cool little room to have an encounter in though. You just come out and there's this enormous hallway, like a ton of pillars. All right, I may, I may have judged you all too harshly. Perhaps you are the perfect crafters of dungeons, not even Chris Perkins or Gary Gygax could stand up to your dungeon crafting levels. It was Twitch chat all along. They're the ultimate dungeon masters. All right, let's see what this looks like. It is 40 feet, guys. <laughs> it's only this long. There you go. I guess the pillars will go here, 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 here. It would be really funny if you guys just dead ended the whole dungeon right here. It's not even like a dungeon. It's just, it's just a big room. That's all it is. This is for passage number two. Chamber, chamber clearly one. Let's find out how big this dang chamber is. We've got a square, a rectangle 20 by 30 feet, and then a rectangle 30 by 40 feet. Uh, what? No, there's circles in here. No, it'd be cool if we just got tons of votes on a rectangle or a square. I think that'd be really, really awesome. You guys are just gonna make it really big. <laughs> It's 40 feet, not 40 feet, guys. It's, 
<laughs> just destroying the starting area. It's just gonna be an enormous room. <laughs> 30 votes on an octagon. All right, octagon. 40 by 40 feet is clearly the winner here. All right, so we've got um, chamber exits, six exits. Guys, I'm really good at drawing shapes. Look at that, that's fantastic, right? We need we need a reference. We need the best drawing reference we can possibly get. All right, here you go. This is this is the culmination of the stream today. Um, if you're just tuning in, this is this is uh, this is <laughs> this is what what's been led up. Is uh, you guys need to stop. Look at what you've created. What is this? <laughs> So we have six exits. One, two, three, four, five, six. It, it's impossible. <laughs> I guess if they're five feet, we can do it. Okay, I'm gonna, I'm gonna ask everybody. Should the, pat, should the exits be five or 10 feet? Amazing, you guys have chosen five feet. The entrance is one of them, that's true. The, the, one of them is the entrance. Okay, you know what, now we have to pull this. This is the ultimate question. Is a entrance considered an exit. You decide. What is it? Is an entrance considered an exit? 79% of you, 25 of you say yes, but 12 of you say no. This is like, is a hot dog considered a sandwich? Is pasta considered a sandwich? Is an exit an entrance? Okay, it's very, very clear you guys have decided that an entrance is considered an exit. How many of these should be doors? Five, all five are doors. You like you start in this room and then you walk over and you go in here and it's just an octagonal room with a bunch of doors. It's actually kind of cool. If you were to walk in here and like you're just like you just see five doors. Not only would you as a player feel overwhelmed, but it's like kind of cool that they're all on different walls. Door door type. <laughs> There's door types, guys. We could do all different types of doors, or we can have them all be the same type of door. Um, poll is live. All different. You, the, it's just a room of weird doors. <laughs> the door deciding Twitch stream. I guess we're going to decide on each door. Portcullis won with one point. All right. Portcullis is door number one. Wooden door. You put up a fight. But secret door in the end did win. Throw down in the chat what kind of secret door is this? Because there's some really good ones in here. Like I like the um I like the it's it's actually a wall. You just have to walk through it. Secret mimic door, secret revolving door, revolving bookcase. Those are really cool. Door that moans. Thank you, Mario Sack. An illusion. Okay, so I, I have a couple of suggestions. I'm gonna throw them into the poll. Let's go with mimic door. Let's go with revolving door. Let's go with illusion door and uh, I don't know, door that moans. Decide, guys. <laughs> Revolving door and mimic door are so cool and y'all are gonna vote for door that moans. <laughs> Revolving door, you're standing strong. Illusion door is also doing pretty good too, but man, the army of the door that moans is, is too great. And as the poll comes to a close, door that moans wins. A secret door that moans. It'll be a revolving secret door that moans since it was second place. I think stone's pretty cool. Revolving moans every time it revolves. Just, ah. All right, so I believe the winner here is an iron door. All right, very cool. Let's see. Let's see if you guys will keep up with the consistency of having a different door in every door. Wooden, stone, iron, portcullis, <laughs> secret door. Long ago, <laughs> the four nations lived in harmony. Wooden, stone, iron, and portcullis. Everything changed when the secret door is attacked. A door within a door. Guys, with enough of the door, door in the doors. <laughs> I have misjudged you, Twitch chat. I thought that you would make all of the doors secret doors. But in fact, you have done the opposite. You have created a portcullis, a revolve, a revolving secret door, an iron door, a wooden door, and a stone door. They're all different. So that's our room there. Um, we are gonna go ahead and decide room number three now. All right, so um, passage continues straight 20 feet, turns right to 10 feet. That is the winner. It would be, it would be this way, because this would be the right. There we go. It was built by Sarek's cousin, Dor Dormammu. <laughs> All right, I want to see some suggestions. Let's see some suggestions on what this uh, what this door could be. Painting door sounds pretty cool. You just jump through it and the hop, 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 hop. 
Is that what it is? Did we win on painting? Painting door? All right, that's it. What I want to know is what is the painting? So, naked troll. Okay. Um, painting is of Dumbledore. <laughs> bon Jovi riding a tiger in a thunderstorm. <laughs> That's the winner. All right, Picasso version of the player. Nice job, guys. All right, so then we've got our new chamber and we need to um, figure out what this chamber is. So when I was being homeschooled for math, they were teaching us how to make a trapezoid and we would watch this DVD. They would show you what a trapezoid was and the way the teacher described it on the DVD was that this uh, to help you like it was like to help kids remember like what the shape was This is a creature called a zoid a zoid is a strange alien creature it cannot be trapped in a square it Cannot be trapped in a triangle, but only this shape can trap a zoid So it's a trapezoid and I remember that to this day So that's the winner and I will always know how to draw a trapezoid. Okay, so we've got another room. That's our new room now we're just gonna pick number four. Number four, we're gonna do a passage and another chamber. If you guys make it a weird shape, I'm gonna lose it, all right? Dormammu demands more doors in this Dorgen. A Dorgen? Dorgans and Dorgens? <laughs> this dungeon is just an emporium of doors from all across the lands. <laughs> Real fake doors. Secret door through the mountain. Oh, it's a portcullis. Interesting. Okay, now we have a new chamber that's gonna go right here. And as you can see, guys, it can't be very large. If it's too big, we're it's just we're gonna not have enough room. <laughs> we already have a lot of really big rooms, so it could be a smaller one. It, you know, you wanted to. You know what to choose. You know what to choose. You can do it, Square. No, stop voting for Circle. Stop it. No. Here's your damn Circle. Well, there it is. There's your layout for your dungeon. Um, I don't know what this is going to be. I think it could be like a room of trick doors because you guys seem to be really into that idea of like a room of trick doors. So that's what we're going to decide now is what all of these rooms are. Okay, so we've got a bunch of different types of dungeon. This could be we got a death trap, a lair, a maze, a mine, a mine could be a planar gate. <laughs> What is the theme of the dungeon? Is it a planar gate? Is it a temple? There's a lot of votes for planar gate. Currently 60% of all of the votes are planar gate. And that's gonna, that's gonna decide it right there. Planar gate, a planar door to the demi plane of doors. The demi, this is the demi plane of doors. It's a gate to sigil. Isn't sigil the plane of many doors? Isn't that what sigil is? So we decide the plane in which this will reside. Limbo, far realm, the, the bathroom. Uh, my closet, uh, a, a Boeing 747, <laughs> uh, Delta Airlines, all right. So the different planes you can choose from are Limbo, Far Realm, Sigil, Feywild, and Our Earth. So go ahead and decide, guys, what plane does our dungeon reside in? And it looks like Limbo is the winner. Stone melts into water that freezes into metal, then turns into diamond that burns up into smoke that becomes snow and on and in and on and endless. Yep, sounds like Twitch chat. This first room, room number one, right there, the one with the well. That's, that's, that's like our starting area, technically. I don't know how you start in there. Maybe you come through the well as like a portal. Audience chamber for receiving visitors. All right, so area one is an audience chamber. Room number two. All right, looks like conjuring room is... The winner. Um, gallery for displaying trophies and objects related to the portal and those that guard it. So, we need to go a little deeper with this one. What do, What is it displaying? What kind of stuff, what things come from Limbo that could be displayed there? I'll take some suggestions from the chat and I'll write those in. Framed and displayed cards that form a deck of many things when combined. That's cool. Framed deck of many things. The back of the cards our doors area four and that looks like that's going to be our winner is pen or prison so the creatures in area four are from limbo so what kind of creatures would have come from this portal what is in here doppelganger party members are pretty cool halaster and a seraph playing poker four slots riding a bander hob angels but as the bible describes oh god terrifying Slods dressed as your party members. <laughs> they just look like slods though. They don't even look like them. They just look like, they're just like slods in clothing. Contents. This is what I'm looking for. So what is on the inside of this dungeon? So uh, it looks like we've got a trick. I like the tricks a lot actually. I think they're fun. Wonder what, I wonder what everybody's gonna pick. Is it gonna be door? Cause there is brain and jar. Brain and jar is pretty cool. I think that could be pretty interesting. Chaotic fit with limbo. Door. 
Of course. Just a door standing there, just in the middle of the room. This is what you want in the first room. It's just a free floating door. All right, so the door that is free floating in the middle of the first room could age the first person um, that touches it. The touched object animates. It could just, the door can animate. The door could ask three skill testing questions. And if all three are answered correctly, a reward appears. Asks three questions. That one's pretty cool. What would the, what would the questions even be guys? What would the questions be? <laughs> Do you like doors? <laughs> Door related questions. How many doors are in this facility? That's a good one. All right, we'll go with that. What is my purpose? <laughs> Question two, does a portcullis count as a door? Question three, what is your favorite color? <laughs> and what do they get if they get all three questions correctly? What, are they, what do they get, guys? They get a door! <laughs> they get to hug the door. You guys want it to be a door. They get a free door. <laughs> It's either going to be door or doorknob. <laughs> All right. Wow. Four points off. And we've got doorknob as the winners. So uh, the reward is a doorknob that casts knock once per day. Next, uh, we're going to choose the next rooms in uh, chamber contents. Seems like monster is in fact our winner here. Gelatinous cube, oblex, door golem. Um, a confused group of bandits. Uh, three demi-liches in a trench coat, but none of them agree who can be the top. I'll repeat, Dormammu, of course. Guys, putting a Tarask in here is not a good idea. An Umber Hulk. A Dorask. <laughs> We've got Mimic, Animated Door, Confused Bandits, and a Freedy Duel or a Tiny Tarask. And looks like a Freedy Duel is the winner. If players open all doors he leaves behind a flame tongue all right that's that's cool we'll go with that all right guys this is the dungeon we did it we've got our entire dungeon here with uh the entrance being the well the uh strange door creature that asks you door related questions um the room full of doors where in a freedy with an afridi duel a Mario 64 painting that you jump through that leads you into a gallery with deck of many things on the inside that are obviously painted like doors. Um, and then uh, room number four with a portcullis. This room has doppelgangers of the players that were from the portal but have not been able to escape. So this, <laughs> this is pretty crazy. Um, I will run this at some point with some of my friends. Um, I don't know when, some of you are asking when we're gonna do it. I, I don't know, but I will let everybody know. If you guys wanna stay updated on the Arcane Arcade Discord, um, I'll also post it on a community post on XP to level three. And don't worry, the VOD will be available if you ever guys wanna, if you guys ever wanna watch it. I don't wanna lock away VODs to anybody. What is the name of this dungeon? Throw in your suggestions now. I've seen some good suggestions. The Dornjin. All right, the Dornjin. Dornjin to Limbo. The Dornjin. The Dornjin. A lot of Dornjins. Okay, so uh, the Door of Many Things. Dorbiter's Grounds. The Dungeon of Dormammu. Okay, so we've got some good suggestions in here. I will create a poll to decide the ultimate fate of the dungeon. Cast your votes. Decide what the name of the dungeon will be. A lot of good votes going for Dornjin, but it's uh, equal on every other uh, door name, uh, Dornjin currently in the lead, 47%, uh, c c Crossroads of Chaos slowly climbing, but not that 50% of the Dornjin, uh, being up there, uh, uh, Dormageddon is actually coming in, uh, a little bit behind Dornjin, possibly could beat everybody under Tomb of Dorers, Dungeon of Dormammu, unfortunately, in last place, but Dornjin, Halfway through this poll seems to be the clear winner. Let's see if we get any other extra votes coming in. Let's find out what could possibly happen in the name of this dungeon. What's it going to be, Twitch chat? What's the name of this dungeon? Dorngeon, I think it's the winner. We have created the Dorngeon. Great job, everyone. We've, we've created a very strange dungeon that I don't know any player could solve, but there's some neat treasure, some interesting tricks, and of course, quite a lot of doors. Be proud of what you all did today. You all have created something beautiful for players in the future to um, hate. <laughs> all right, this concludes our, our dungeon creation time. Um, thank you everybody for joining for this 
insane adventure that we had today. And uh, I, I will see you guys next time. Uh, make sure to check out your doors.